Relapse. In oncology, relapse refers to the return or recurrence of cancer after a period of remission. It occurs when cancer cells reappear and grow again in the body following a period when there were no detectable signs or symptoms of the disease. Relapse can happen in the same location where the original cancer was, or it may occur in other parts of the body, metastasis, depending on the type and stage of cancer. Understanding the different terms related to relapse in oncology. Remission. Remission refers to a period during cancer treatment when the signs and symptoms of cancer decrease or disappear. It does not necessarily mean that the cancer has been completely eradicated, but it indicates a significant reduction in the cancer burden. Remission can be partial, some cancer cells still remain, or complete, no detectable cancer cells. Recurrence. Recurrence is the reappearance of cancer in the same location as the original tumor after a period of remission. It suggests that some cancer cells remained in the body and started to grow again. Recurrence can happen soon after initial treatment or years later. Metastasis. Metastasis occurs when cancer cells from the primary tumor spread to other parts of the body through the lymphatic system or bloodstream. These cells can then form new tumors in distant organs or tissues. Metastatic cancer is often more challenging to treat than localized cancer. Factors contributing to cancer relapse. Residual cancer cells. Despite effective treatment, some cancer cells may survive the initial therapy, leading to relapse later on. Resistance to treatment. Cancer cells can develop resistance to certain treatments, making them less susceptible to the same therapies used before. Micrometastasis. Small groups of cancer cells might have already spread to distant sites in the body before the initial diagnosis, which can later lead to metastatic relapse. Cancer stem cells. Cancer stem cells are a subpopulation of cells within tumors that have self-renewal capacity and are resistant to treatment. If these cells are not eradicated, they can lead to relapse. Genetic mutations. Genetic changes in cancer cells can occur over time, leading to more aggressive or treatment-resistant cancer. Managing relapse in oncology. The approach to managing cancer relapse depends on several factors, including the type of cancer, the extent of the relapse, the individual's overall health, and the previous treatments received. Possible approaches to managing relapse include salvage therapy, administering alternative treatment strategies to target the cancer effectively after relapse, combination therapy, using a combination of different treatment modalities such as surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapies, and immunotherapy to improve outcomes. Clinical trials, participation in clinical trials that explore novel treatments or experimental therapies. Palliative care, focusing on symptom management and improving the quality of life for patients with advanced or metastatic cancer. Supportive care, providing physical and emotional support to patients and their families during the challenging time of relapse and treatment. It is essential to remember that each cancer case is unique, and the treatment decisions are made on an individual basis by the oncology team, considering the specific characteristics of the cancer and the patient's overall health. Regular follow-up visits and monitoring are crucial for detecting any signs of relapse early on and optimizing treatment outcomes.